Here we go then, it's North versus South. Andy, as a resident of the Midlands and someone Thank who you. played for Aston Villa, and yes. I'm not quite sure how far north the Republic of Ireland is, but it's the southern end, yes. so, but anyway, but in your time at Middlesbrough, so you're as close as, we, I mean, you're as, close as we've got to a northerner here, Thank other than you. me and I'm not allowed to have a team. And even though you ah. did play your, your time at Burnley and at Celtic, you are representing very much the Absolutely South. Absolutely South. Um, in which case, we'll let you go first with yeah. your team. So if we are going to play Romelu Lukaku's all-star game at the end of the season and pit North versus South, this is the Southern Eleven. Who have you gone for from the I've teams gone, from the South? I've gone for Courtois, mm -hmm. um, Cedric's from Southampton because I, I think he's brilliant. Good little player. I'm surprised they can keep hold of him. Um, Ashville Aquetta because I like him. Toby and Alonso. Um, and then I've gone... I mean, uh, the point with this is it's meant to be fun. So you want Alonso's free kick. Yes. And you want the, the players who are going to turn yeah. it on. And because oh, Ozil, Ozil in that team would be wonderful because <laughs> he's got brilliant players around him. And then Dembele, who's my favourite player at the moment, and Kante, them two can... They, they can switch around them two in there. Yeah. And then Willian Kane and Hazard. That's and beating anyone. You think... <laughs> you would say it's going to be anyone. That's beating anyone. And I don't want to be biased side. geographically. It's a good side. Wait till you see this. Go on, it. Andy. It's, right, he's got picked a good team there, but I, there's obvious weaknesses in Ryan's wow. team. Whereas <laughs> I think if you look at this one, now oh I, my, my biggest problem was the goalie. Do I go De Gea or I've gone Edison purely You've because he's just. Edison over De Gea. Well, only because I just think with his feet, he's just been incredible. And playing out, and, and, and if the way it's he a fun game, the and, yeah. yeah. I, I, I've gone for Seamus Coleman. He's yeah. a great right back. He's had a tough time. No, Carl Walker. Last year. I haven't gone Carl Walker, no. I've gone, I've gone for Seamus. I like Robertson. And John we're also Stones, living in a fantasy world where everybody yeah. is fantasy world. fit 100%. Yeah, and exactly. Well, at midfield. Robertson's been brilliant for this, has, year, yeah. this year for Liverpool. He's been amazing. Then once I get into... Look, if I can just get that back four to just roll that into those boys in the middle of the park righty, it's you're all in over. big trouble. Yeah, it's all over. Massive trouble. De Bruyne and Silva with Matic just to hold and then Mo Salah, Leroy I've Sane. Been... And I've gone for Roberto for me. No, Dembele, deal with that midfield for me. So? <laughs> Dembele's my captain, yeah. yeah. I fancy him, yeah. He's too strong for anyone. So if you're going to be directors of football, and that's mm. you interfering in team affairs... Correct. Who's the manager that you're not going to allow to pick the team? Uh, <laughs> yeah. My manager in the north, would I'd go for Jurgen Klopp. Over Pep Guardiola? I, I would just go... I'd just think, again, if, it's a bit of, if we're looking to have a bit of fun as well as see some great football... I think he epitomises that. I, I was going to go for the Poch, but I'd, I'd go for Conte. Cause I, I just, I just, this, I just quite, I just like Conte. There's something about him. I, I hope he stays in this league. I really do like Conte. I like him too. I, I admire the way mm. that he's that he's taken that job on. Not yeah. easy following Jose, is it? Yeah. Jose has been such an integral part of Chelsea, and to go in there and 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 grab hold of it and sort mm. it out immediately. He's just looking a little bit like he's. Uh, Maybe they should. Arsenal should be thinking. You know what I mean? If he doesn't, if he's not going to be at Chelsea, and he's yeah, they could do I mean? a lot worse. I'm telling you, an awful yeah. lot worse. He's a top manager, but uh, no. I mean, I think if Wrighty can keep my team down to three, there. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll have done very well. And Let's take a look at, at Wrighty's team again and see what he's gone for, because you've not had your chance really to, oh. to pass comment on, on his selections. I mean, has he, has he gone for the, the best and, and most entertainment? What sort of Harlem Globetrotters kind yeah, of feel to it, don't we? He has. I mean... Come you on, know, man, there's that front three there, Rand. Yeah, no, look, the front three is... I mean, the front three is a serious proposition, I think, for uh, for my boys. But uh, but in the middle of, I'm not sure. I can't see Ozil wanting a track back to. Well, much I won't get him there. tracking back. I'll have Dembele and Kante in front of the back front, Ozil yeah. in front of them. And I think that uh, obviously you've got Aspiliqueta and Alonso who prefer to play in a five, um, so you've got them in a in a four. I, I think right there'll did, be a bit of confusion we, we did in there. Force uh, the formation on him. That's that. that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, look, look, there's some good. And actually, I think Cedric is a outstanding player at Southampton. He's a fantastic little yes. player. And, I, and I'm sure that come the summer, if any of the bigger boys are looking for a right back, he's, 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 he should be in there. Yeah. We're going to give you a steal each. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to take Ooh. from the other one's team? Who do you want to replace from your team with, with one of Andy's? I'll take, I'll take De Bruyne and I'll take De Bruyne. Four. Who's going out? Ozil. Is he indeed? Um, you don't want any. Do I have to change? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm that confident. If I was going to take one of Wrighty's, I'd probably have to take Harry Kane. Of course, I would for Firmino. Yeah, 
Okay, so you'd swap Harry Kane for Firmino, but I you would. don't really want to swap. I don't do want to because I really like Firmino. I think he's a class act. Yeah, do you too. like this idea? Of, I mean, look, it's going to be almost impossible to implement in terms of, gosh, even the insurance, let alone yeah. the fees yeah. that these players would command, even if it, it was I, for charity. I but love the idea. It's, and, would you have liked to play in one? Yeah. Because it's it's about fun and jokes. It's a whole weekend. I watched the um, the NBA All Star Weekend. It's brilliant. They do a whole load of, of stuff around it, and you know there's that you can introduce games, penalty shoot. I don't know free kicks. You could do all sorts of stuff. Skills tests for the whole weekend. Kids can come. It, it could be a great idea. I don't know when they do it. No. To be honest, but it, it is a. I love the All Star Weekends, and it's the NFL one, and the baseball one, and the basketball one. I love them all. It, well, you and, you and Romelu Lukaku can make it happen. <laughs> we're going to charge you with that. We're going to charge you with sorting that one out. If you, while we're on the, the subject of entertaining football, we put Jurgen Klopp in charge of, of your team over, over Pep Guardiola, but if you could pick a season ticket for one club, mm. which one would it be? Liverpool for me. Liverpool. I, I, could... I probably would agree with yeah, writing. Liverpool. I think I would. I, I, I think for... I think to go, and, to go and watch Guardiola's team over a season at home every game would probably be an education as well as, as, well as brilliant and exciting. Mm. But just watching Liverpool this year has been is amazing. They can, they, can, they, can, uh, they can be in such a commanding position yeah, that all of a sudden reason. it can go and then they can go and score another couple. Yeah. But the way they attack when they're at their best, I think they are... You the most you, exciting. You get watch. to see something, Anne. And the reason why I wouldn't pick City, although I, I, I absolutely adore I City and everything what they're doing, but teams would go their curls and try and strangle the life out of the game, and then it'd be very hard for City to break them down. I'm not sure how entertaining that would be, because you know what I mean. It kind of gets you. Think, God, please break them down. But Liverpool, yeah. you know, sometimes Liverpool don't start well, and you get a team that. Then all of a sudden Liverpool are on the back foot, yeah. and they've got to do something. So then the other team are having a go at Liverpool, and they go. Beyond, and then all of a sudden you're getting into this brilliant scenario, yeah. and that's what I love. That's what I love about Liverpool at the minute. Yeah, not great for the Liverpool fans, not great for Liverpool <laughs> fans. and their blood pressure. But yeah, I understand what you mean. Certainly at the moment they're on a great run of form. But uh, questions in now from you. Uh, you've been putting them into us on Twitter. Do you think it's big story today? The Premier League needs Premier League needs. A winter break. This is under discussion. It's pretty much in the FA's hands now. It would involve moving the FA Cup to midweek, potentially uh, getting rid of replays in that round and splitting the Premier League fixtures over two weekends in February to allow them to have, what, almost two weeks holiday. What do you think? No. Holiday. <laughs> no for me. I, I don't want to change what we have here. Our league is unique in this respect. It's, it's a challenge for any player coming here to have to accept it face up to it, cope with it, it's not easy, the fans love it. Yes, I know football is expensive and it's costly nowadays, that's a consideration for supporters. But in terms of, um, do, I think, do I think the players will get that much out of that period of time off, Kelly? I don't know. How many days are we talking about they would actually get to, is it 13 days? Well, it'd be days? 13 days, wouldn't so it? Be probably... have a... It won't be 13 days in... In one chunk, or is that what they're well, saying? One, one would have it. It would be staggered, so there'd be a sort of week yeah. in the in the middle. You know what? Uh, look, Christmas. Christmas yeah. in this country is is. Oh, they wouldn't change Christmas because no. it, it would be in February. Well, again, then I don't see the point of it because the Champions League is then round the corner. Mm. The next thing you'll have teams complain they've lost their edge. They've just lost a bit of what the sharpness that they had because all of a sudden they they've had a week or they've had ten days off. The clubs will fly me here, there, and everywhere <laughs> around the world. <laughs> playing warm-up matches out in <laughs> Singapore and Australia and somewhere else, because it's what they do. They do. I'm Call me an old cynic, but it's true, isn't it? Yeah. You know, if, we're, if, we're, if we really want to debate about tiring our players out and putting too many demands on them, well, don't fly them three times around the yeah. globe before the season starts. Yeah. Um, so, no, I mean, leave it They're not it going is. steerage, though, are they? I mean, no, they're, not, they're not. They're not being put it's down with the, with the luggage they're underneath the plane, they're are they? not in the zoo. Yeah. No, yeah. but it's... Uh, it's I, I wouldn't change a thing. I, I, it's... It's part of what we do here. This is why our league is so tough, so hard, so, yeah. such a challenge. Don't change it. Mauricio yeah. Pochettino talked about it and he said something quite similar, which is that the, the Christmas period is actually the toughest. And once yeah. you're through that, he said, I, I wouldn't want to change the Christmas period because that's part of what, what he loves about um, coaching in England. But he said, if we're going to keep the Christmas period as he thinks we should, it doesn't, doesn't really matter to. if you get that time off in February. I think, yeah, but I, I do feel that if they're going to get a proper amount of time, like a proper 14 days break or something like that, so as then you can get people back from injury as well, get, you know, get people who are just getting into the red zone, whatever they call it now, 
you know, just get them to have that break, have a rest. And like Andy says, if they're not traipsing all over the place because they've got an opportunity to make five million quid for the club because they're taking all the top boys out there, then, you know what I mean, I, I, I don't mind it. I think, you know what I mean, it, you, you get revitalised, you get 12, a good 12, 14 days off and then you get going again. If it's not going to be that kind of time to get the rest and get going again, no, don't do it. And when we, when we talk about, obviously, uh, some of the top managers have often complained about when the Champions League stuff kicks in and cup replays and this, that and everything else, it can get extremely congested and very tough to manage. I understand that. But it's about, it's about all the teams in the league yeah. as well, Kelly, isn't it? 